So after the East Troublesome Fire, the watersheds in Grand County significantly changed. And what happens is we get these storm events and the time of concentration of the runoff in these steep gullies is significantly lower than it was pre-fire. And so that water quickly comes off the hillside, brings with it sediment, rock, debris, and we're seeing that all along Highway 125. There's been several road closures last year and this year. So what we've done is we've hired our contractor Flatiron Construction as part of the Emergency Watershed Protection Program through NRCS to come out and aid CDOT in clearing this debris. Almost every weekend there seems to be another debris flow and during those storm events shortly after we see debris flow coming down those goalies completely covering the highway. The debris impacts road closures, the access to the road, but there are also residents living along this corridor all around. It's, it's just not good for people living in the area. So we've been working with CDOT to open up the culverts that have clogged. They've been working in the right-of-way, clearing the debris to clean that road up and get it back open for the, the residents that live there. This work came about from stormy events in July of this year. So they've been working consistently every week on debris flows from that storm event, but also new debris flows. So this contract is to the end of the year. It's ongoing. It's been a partnership between CDOT, Grand County, Northern Water, NRCS, and with our contractor Flatiron to get this work done. And it's been a good partnership so far. Mm -hmm.